In this video, we're going to talk about four things. Number one is about the semicolon. Number two is about this DEL. And number three is about this type of thing, this type of writing code. And number four is about this type of defining variables. So let's talk about the first note. As you can see here, we have defined a couple of variables. And here we can see we have three lines, three lines of code. And suppose that we want to put all of them in just one line. So in order to do so, in order to put all of these stuff in one line, after the first line, I should put a semicolon. And after that, here's the second one. And then I should put a semicolon. And after that, here is the third one. So if we put semicolon, we can put different lines together in one line. Although it is not suggested, but you can definitely do so. Yes, it is possible to do so, but it is not suggested because it is not very readable. It is not very beautiful, but you can, if you want, you can do so, but it is not suggested. And now here, if I print the X variable, print, print the Y variable, and also print the Z variable, and if I run a code, you can see all of them are working fine and there is no problem. Okay, let's talk about the second note. As you can see, we have defined two variables, and now suppose that we want to delete this variable. So in order to do so, we can simply type something like this, DEL, which means delete. We want to delete X. And now, because we have delete, we have deleted x, if I print the x variable after deleting the variable, and if I run the code, you can see we get an error. It says name error. Name x is not defined. Why it is not defined? Because we have literally, and we have explicitly, deleted the x variable. So when you delete the x variable, there is no such a thing called x variable anymore. So here when you are saying to print the x variable, it says name x is not defined because you have deleted the x variable. So now let's talk about the third note. So first of all, for example, suppose that we want to assign multiple variables simultaneously. We want to assign some values to multiple variables simultaneously. For example, here we can say x, y, and z is equal to one, two, and three. And here we are assigning some values to multiple variables simultaneously. So in this context, x is going to be one, y is going to be two, and z is going to be three. I mean the corresponding value. And now if I print the x variable, print the y variable, and print the z variable in order to verify that. And if I run a code, you can see x, y, and z are one, two, three, which you can see here. And also remember that you can put all of these stuff, for example, inside parentheses or square brackets, and all of these things work as well. And in both of these cases, you can see we get the same result. This is another topic. I mean, these square brackets and those parentheses. This is another topic which we will cover in future videos of this playlist. And also we can type something like this as well. X equals to Y equals to Z equals to two. In this case, all of them, I mean, X, Y, and Z are going to have the same value, which is going to be two. This was one of the videos of a step-by-step -step tutorial playlist of Python. You can find a link to that playlist in the description below. And also we have other playlists for other topics, which you can find them on the channel page.